But you will need these instructions, which hopefully I will upload on my website very soon. And I probably need to edit them because uh, they're double-sided. Anyway, you will need a ruler, a pencil, a lot of card, a lot of tape, scissors, some duct tape, maybe, some more duct tape if you need it, maybe, a silver marker or pen, maybe, some kind of purple marker for Crash's Chrome's hair or whatever. Probably some bronze marker pen. Maybe some fine liner. I'm not exactly sure what you would use it for. Some red marker pen. And two toothpicks or lolly sticks, I guess. You might need for those. So yeah, let's get to building Cash's Chrome. So you're just going to start by taking these instructions and just copying them down onto like cardboard or card. I recommend card, then you would tape it on the top after you've colored it, and um, duct tape it on the back and then cut it out, and then into all the pieces. Okay, so actually, you know what? First thing you need to do is to actually build this thing. Okay, so, so what you're going to do is just take tape and make sure you reinforce it when you attach it to them, but you're just going to attach all of these pieces. So this here, the second one of this here, and these two onto the sides and then we'll just ignore this for now so now you will just tape these sides these corners on all four corners together so it just is now so it'll be like a rectangular piece so now you will take your actual base and you're going to line up the whole entire um base with this so that this fits just on and then you'll tape it on the sides so it's so it stays on well so it just has to line up like all the way through here and it can't be on any of these like extending the pieces so after you do that it should look something like this make sure it's pretty flat down if it like tries to go up maybe try to weigh it down a bit but now now you're going to do this twice but you're just going to get this to go around on these panels to go all the way around something like this and then you'll just tape it together to look something like this you need two of those so there we go, so now you're just going to attach them in this spot over here using some tape over the sides and then maybe you want to do it over these sides just to reinforce it well. Also if you really want to use Lego wheels you could put in some Lego wheels under this. I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay so the next thing you need to know is that there is a piece that is larger than this by a bit. It's actually pretty tall but you are end up rounding over the curves like so create eyes so like the top should be around there and they just cut some curves to create eyes for the cat for Cash's crown and then you bend the piece quite a bit actually so then you want to take your friend Cash's chrome and you're just going to tape it on and you need it to be bent these angles signify that this is the front by the way okay so next is that you're going to bend this piece quite a bit and you're going to take your actual like body so far and you're just going to attach it around to there okay so next up is you're going to take these big pieces uh, and you're just going to wrap this around these circles and tape it on around both of them something like this so yeah just the tape i just taped it on like so and yeah so now you will take some more tape take some tape and just attach it near this bottom area and then you're going to want to line it up with this and you're just going to line it up so that it lines up with these edges over here and you're just going to tape it down and to the back so you're going to have this piece and you're going to really want to make a nice deep cut like quite a few cuts just to get the hair kind of shape of cassius chrome you're just going to want like to pull it apart but on this one, you just really want to get a really long cut. So this one bends a lot more. And I'll explain very soon why that is. So you are going to take a very thin snippet. And you're just going to attach it just in between the eyes right there, I guess. As you can see. And you're going to take this. And you're going to bend this. So it just kind of like goes out like that. And you're just going to tape it down like so. 
And then you're going to bend the hair kind of style so that it fits with this and then you tape it and then you're going to tape it down. Something like this. So you just it doesn't look as good as I would have wanted it to, but it still looks pretty good. Kind of has the purple hair design. And yeah. So now you are going to take a nice big chunk of tape and just attach it right over here and you will bend it into like kind of like a cylindrical shape so now you shall take a large piece of tape and just attach it onto about there and then you're just going to kind of get the idea where you want to attach it onto Cassius Chrome and then you will attach your tape on making sure it's reinforced pretty well and it sticks and it stays on to there so you want it to look so far something like this uh, so now so you're going to, to do this twice, but you're going to create two different versions of these. So you're just going to try to get these like kind of cone shapes. So what you do is that you just take your smaller circles and you tape them onto the top and you just round it around it. And then you take your larger circles and you need to be kind of careful about it, but then you want this to get all the way wrapped around it. And you might need to cut off bits of the triangular ends, but you should end up with something like these two pieces but you're going to do, to do that twice so there we go now I want to attach these bigger ones onto here so and they're supposed to be like kind of like ears above the mouth though I'm not exactly sure what they are they're kind of like ears and the ears and then these ones go on to the sides of here so yeah sorry if I was shouting a bit So there we go. It kind of looks a bit wonky. I think I did it a bit oddly, but oh well. It actually looks pretty nice. I kind of like how these are like at different angles. They're supposed to be at the same angle, but I don't really care. It looks actually kind of nice. Gives it a bit of a more wonky look and a more beat up on this side, of course. Anyway, so now you are going to take this really long piece and you are going to fold it into a cylindrical shape. So now you're just going to take two um, half inch cylinders, or circles actually, no, not circles, and you will attach them to this very long cylinder on both sides. Next thing you're going to do, cover a lolly stick in some duct tape, like gray duct tape is fine, okay? Next, grab a tiny piece of like some card from somewhere and then grab this piece. Now you're going to do this twice over besides this part. Okay, well, let's just get started with this. So you need to fold this into a cylindrical object using tape and tape it together well. Okay, now take some tape and you're just going to attach one of these circles onto the back end over here. Okay, now you want to just... Okay, by the way, you're going to do this whole setup twice, not this, of course. I think I already said that. Anyway, you're just going to turn these triangles to, into like a pyramid. So kind of like this. And you want to have your square back end attached to the bottom. Okay, so maybe there were a few random cuts. Uh, I had to stop video the video for a bit. Anyway, so now you will take this and you will tape it onto here. And you will tape a white, like a little, like any like kind of square that can fit in here and slide through easily to the back. So it, lo it should look something like this. Okay, now you're going to cut a hole that allows you to fit this all the way down this or actually no just up through this so no you're not supposed to tape this on yet actually ha, um i'll just take this off but anyway you're going you want to make a hole that can allows it to fit through the pole anyway once you're done cut making the hole then you're just going to tape it onto here after you have actually just gotten this to go swap through this all the way to like near the top of course you do want to reattach your back before you actually tape it onto the tube so anyway, once you have done this twice, um, now you're just going to attach these, like, right here and here, but make sure that it can still fit on the main body. So make sure you attach it pretty well, so, like, about there on both sides. Make sure you can still attach it to the body eventually. And, uh, and actually, you know what, it's probably a good idea that you just attach it this one right now. Okay, so now you actually attach these on. So I'll be back. Okay, actually, you know what? It's probably not. It's probably not going to actually stick on if you attach it right there. So what I would recommend doing is just wrapping it around the, this piece in the bottom area. 
So it looks something like this, so it gives the illusion it's kind of attached. And then you can just pop it out and back in. So you do that on both sides, I guess. So overall, Cassius Chrome should look something like this. Now this turned out pretty good. Not exactly how I wanted it. The hair's not too good. It looks really good. And just for a size comparison. Now in the original Robot War series, Cassius Chrome was actually really large compared to most of the normal robots. Though I'm not sure he should be this big. But for a house robot, I guess it'll be fine. So here's Tantrum, one of my smaller models. A bigger model like Lucky is more up to scale with Cassius Chrome. And Cassius Chrome is just really tall. But honestly, it looks really good in my opinion. Not exactly how I would have wanted it, but it's not bad either. It's pretty good. So yeah, have a good day.